life with all the redeemed. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. To welcome Father Kisembo, sorry, Reverend Father Kwezi KG Emmanuel at Woki, who is going to lead us in this mass. And we are gathered here to commit the soul of our friend, our daughter, our granddaughter, Olga Navatan Semakula Boki, committing her soul to God. You are all welcome. Thank you very much for taking off time to come and pray for Olga. Now may I invite Reverend Father Kwezi K.D. Emmanuel Atwoki to lead us in this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, acknowledge our sins that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, that of us bless Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through the mystery your servant Olga Navatanzi Semakura Boki 
who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. Lastly, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the book of Job. All that my words were written, all that they were recorded in a book, that with an iron stylus and lead, they were engraved in the rock forever. Yet as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last, he will take his stand on the earth. Even after my skin is destroyed, yet from my flesh I will see God, whom I, on my part, shall behold for myself and whom my eyes shall see, and not another. This is the word of the Lord. The response for your psalm, and our response is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Response. When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Response. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. Response. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Response. Our second reading is t taken from the book of the Roman, the book, the book of Romans. verses 1 to 6 
do not be worried and upset. Jesus told them, believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house and I am going to prepare a place for you. I will not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself, so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way to get there? Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have gathered here in prayer to commend the soul of our beloved friend, sister, family member, our workmate, to commend her soul to God that is none other than Olga Navatan Semakula Abok whom God has taken from this world. So we have gathered here to pray for the peaceful repose of her soul. And I welcome you all those of you who have come physically. I know there are some other friends, other relatives who have not managed to make it because of the condition we are undergoing in the whole world. And they are also with us in spirit. They are also praying. Let's join together in prayer to pray for the peaceful repose of the soul of our beloved daughter, Olga Nabatanzi, Semakula Boki. And as we have gathered here, we have also come to comfort the family, to strengthen the family in Christ, and also to comfort one another. Because when we are together, we are strong. When we comfort one another in Christ, we get hope. We are in a situation that many people are full of fear. But the Lord is there to strengthen us. Last Saturday, last weekend, we lost two of our priests. We lost the priests. We, we, we saw the number of priests who are dying. And many people are dying. And the uh, I was chatting with many priests, they were, we lost a priest called Setuma, Bendik Setuma, from Masaka. And they had taught many priests, and he was a very good lecturer. Many people were asking why, why, why? Why in a situation of disarray, a, a situation of disappointment? But when I was going through the readings of uh, last Sunday, I got a very big consolation. I remember if those of you attended the Mass last Sunday, or those who listened to the, uh, to the readings or took readings and in, in their families, if you can recall the Gospel, as the disciples were moving with Jesus on the lake, they encountered a storm. They were all terrified. For in the first instance, they were all terrified worried for their for their dear lives but they remembered 
that they are with Jesus. And they cried out for Jesus to save them. And Jesus Christ intervened. He calmed the storm and they were astonished. We too in this world, we face many challenges. We cry out. At times we delay to call Jesus. But in, if we consider the situation we are in now, this is the moment to cry out to Jesus. As he calmed the storm when he was with the, the apostles, Jesus Christ has the capacity and is ready Let's all our moments keep putting our focus on Jesus Christ as we care for ourselves. We put all our trust in Jesus Christ. This moment, we need to comfort one another. When we read different social medias and then we see many people sending discomforting messages. I don't know whether some people are sadists, people are sick, people are suffering, some people are sending discomforting messages, hopeless messages, as if the world is coming to an end. But this is a moment to comfort one another, to support one another in Christ. Yesterday I was talking to one of my Christians who lives in Kampala. He was telling me, Father, let's continue praying. He, was tell he told me that I had my three children who are, had contracted COVID, but you have been giving them medication. I tell you, Father, people are supporting each other. People have been comforting us, supporting us, guiding us which kind of medicine to take. And he, was, he told me that many people are sick. But we need to help one another. We need to comfort one another. We need to support one another. We need to pray for one another. We need to strengthen one another. So let's continue trusting in God. And as, as we have heard from the first reading, we heard this man called, this servant of God called Job. Job is a man who believed in God, who served God faithfully wholeheartedly, committedly, but he, he too faced challenges. He lost his family members. He fell sick of a strange disease that was painful and incurable. And most of his friends started insulting him that abandoned God. If you are a God's servant, why are you suffering? That they started insulting him, really cheering him. But Job remained steadfast in faith. He did not abandon God. He kept focused on God. In this kind of situation, this reading applies to us. We are facing a lot of challenge. Many people have lost their dear ones. Many people have lost their, their jobs. Some people don't know what they will eat tomorrow. But let's put our trust in God as we look into the example of his servant, Job, who endured and God restored him. We worship a God who is unwilling to leave us fallen, to leave us downtrodden, to leave us hopeless. When Job cried out to God persistently, God intervened and he was restored. We too. Let us cry out to God in this moment of trial. Let's, let us cry out to God in this moment of trial. God will intervene in our lives. God cannot abandon us. He's with us always. He helps us always. That's why we have heard in the second reading as, uh, that, uh, that has come from St. Paul's letter to the Romans that whether 
we are alive or dead, we belong to God. We are God's people. When alive or dead, we are God's people. That's why I was meditating upon read this reading. I, I reflected up, upon the goodness of God. God loves us all. That's why he created us. Who of you chose to be, who discussed with God before creating us? We exist by the grace of God. And we, when we die, when we die, we remain also God's people. And he calls those he loves. And he takes. To, to, he takes these people to enjoy. He, he will take us all to enjoy eternal life. Our sister has gone ahead of us. He has gone to be with the Lord. To share in the promises of God of eternal life. That's why God created us with a lot of love. And he takes us with a lot of love to enjoy eternal life. We are in this world, we are moving towards God. And God has a plan for each one of us. Let's continue loving him as he loves us. Trusting him as he, he, he loves us. Let's continue trusting him. Believing in him. Putting all our trust in him. So that God may, we, may, we may continue knowing that this is our creator. Who created us out of his love. Who will take us. Using his love again he will take us. To enjoy eternal life. To enjoy a better life. At, we, uh, humanly speaking. When, when we lose a colleague, we, humanly, we feel a lot of sadness. We feel a lot of pain. We ask questions that we may not be able to answer. But when we, see, we, we, when we sit down and ref reflect upon the love of God, and we reflect the reasons as to why Jesus, God created us, then we realize that God, I think, has a purpose. As to why he brings us in this world, and at the same time, time comes, he takes us. Let's continue putting our trust in him. He will answer all our worries. If we keep questioning, we may not answer questions and we may despair. But let's have faith in God. Let's continue strengthening each other, to help each other, continue sharing our faith in God. And God will always intervene. God cannot abandon us. God is with us and he gives us a message of hope in the gospel. That is, Jesus Christ gives us a message of hope in the gospel. That I'm going to prepare places for you in heaven. It's not pre it's pre for each one of us gathered here. For those who died be, sub, many years ago. Jesus Christ spoke these words 2,020 years ago. And those who have been dying, those places are secured. We believe they are in heaven. Because Jesus Christ said, I'm going to prepare places for you. Places whereby you enjoy eternal life, whereby you will not suffer again. So God invites us, the Lord invites us to continue loving him, to continue serving him, to continue praying for one another, to continue strengthening each other. As we are in this world, we are, this world is a militant world. We are struggling to reach, to, to serve God faithfully. We are striving to do what is pleasing to God. And at the end of it all knowing, God will crown us with eternal life. That's the, that's the ultimate goal as to, why Jesus, as to why God created us. And that's where we are heading. Let's continue that we may not lose focus in this trying moment. We may keep focused to the reasons as to why God created us. May God continue healing this world from this pandemic, healing many families who have lost their dear ones, and many people with challenges. The Lord be with you. Let us stand up and present our intentions to God. Uh, 
up there that the people take petitions, then I introduce. God the Almighty Father, raise the Christ his son from the dead. With confidence, ask him to save us all, his people, living and dead. That God may establish the Christian people in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That he may rescue the entire world from all the evils of war. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That he may be pleased to show himself a father to our brother and sisters who lack work, food, and housing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, gracious hear us. That he may be pleased to admit forever to the company of saints of Lord, gracious hear us. Lord, Lord gracious you hear us. 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 God our shelter and our strength. You listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. Ask this through Christ our Lord. Let's present our gifts to the altar.
pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Olga, we beseech your mercy, that he, she, who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour, may find in him a merciful judge, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection have dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled and by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so is the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy that for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of, of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Also strengthen the family members and friends of Olga who has departed. Remember your servant, Olga, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in resurrection. Remember so our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, heaven, around with the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also be with Let us you. offer to one another the sign of peace as we wave to one another. Peace and we say peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes out the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Not I shall be rich. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. If there are people who are willing to come for Holy Communion, they can be first sanitized, then they come to receive from the hands. Are there people who are willing to?
let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our days. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also be with you. Almighty no God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Let us remain standing and we, as we, co we say the prayers of commendation. Thereafter, the announcements will go on. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Olga, your servant. In the sight of this world, she is now dead. In your sight, may she live forever. Forgive whatever sins she committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Saints of God, come to her aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels bring into the arms of Abraham. May, may angels bring you into the arms of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. You respond, receive her soul, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister in the sewer and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon Olga in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith and we, until we all meet in Christ, and are with you and with our sister forever. Amen.
proceed and then listen to the announcement. I would like to thank Reverend Father Kwezi Kedi Emmanuel Atwoki for having led us in this mass when we remember and pray for the soul of Olga Nawata and Semakula Aboki. And uh, I would like to welcome all of you once again. And the protocol will be very short. Here with us, um, Okay, where we are, it is uh, Hoima uh, Kitoba, the ancestral home of our dear friend, late Olga Nawatanzi Semakula Aboki. We are about 200 kilometers away from Kampala. Here with us, we have the relatives, the uncles, the aunts, and the friends of Olga. Our program will run as follows. Uh, after this mass that we have just received, uh, we are going to have two speeches. Uh, three speeches. One will be from uh, Uncle Leonard Muganwa at Woki. And the second speech will be from uh, Auntie Daisy Muganwa Akiki. And the last speech will be from uh, John Magara Ateny. So, and after that, uh, whoever talks will relay the wraith. So, uh, the following persons will lay the wraith. Uh, there is a wraith from Mami Ateny, the mother of Olga. Uh, this one will be laid by Auntie Daisy immediately after her speech and uh, she'll be assisted by all the aunts present and then the second wreath uh, from Olga's Uh, and then, uh, sorry for the interruption, we, we shall have uh, a wreath from Mr. John Magara. Uh, he will also lay it immediately after his speech, uh, being assisted by Mrs. Magara. And then we shall have uh, one from... Olga's brothers and sisters, Aralik uh, Semerewa, we lay it, uh, assisted by his wife, uh, and I think that, that is all. In case another one comes up, we shall let you know. So at this juncture, I would like to invite uh, Uncle Leonard Muganwa at work to come and give us a speech. All of us gathered here, here we go. pay homage to, to Olga and uh, say farewell to her. So make sure we 
escort her to her resting place. What I want to do is to just tell you uh, very, very briefly uh, what led to her life coming to an end. Uh, Olga was admitted in hospital um, to deliver, and she delivered a baby boy, um, a little boy. His name is Claude. And after that, she stayed in hospital for two days, being treated. Uh, but for some re reason, um, her health turned for the worst on Saturday. And Saturday morning at about 8.30 in the morning, uh, she breathed her last. And so the it was a very quick turn round from being healthy to when her life ended. And that's what we can say for now. Uh, we prayed for her, and we should continue to do so. Thank you very much, Father. Uh, thank you very much, Atwoki. Uh, now, uh, may I invite... Oh, oh, okay, uh, I, I'm requesting you immediately to lay the wreath for Mugana's family. Yeah, thank you very much. That was Uncle Leonard Muganwa laying the wreath for the Muganwa family. And now may I invite Aunt Daisy to come and give us a word. Father, we are going to be to be able to be able to to um, my sister Bona vali hati ogo mwana ni mwaka vali na mwaka gumu guonga. Tuwa ikara hanu tuwe selekele. Anyway, ebi vya huwa. Tuwa garu kwa yuka ampala. Then 85, ya iji. Navo tuwa iluka navo. Kiyoka tuwa iji yoko tuwa ikara kwa ampala. Tuwa iluka navo, tuwa ikara mwenji wemu. Kolola, tuwa atui nao flat. Baite mwono nukoza atura vahoga. Habana vwona nubati inila kimu. Nituwa kuata. Hmm? Kuhika, obia aba aba mseveno ba hikire ba kongo na majuga itu ba gamba mturuke tu hikire. So aba na wao mto wa anga ba kulise ba itu akarabambizivu kandi na isaba na hanyuma mukama yamtuara. Hati my sister strugglinga kurele aba na wao kuba hiki na mbira ba hikise. Olga, a very intelligent girl. Yes, so my law, law. Yagi Kakurungi, Yagenda Development Center, Yatunga Diploma. Hataba in our Minister of Justice. To Sali Vemuno Mwanogu. 
omwana omurungi aine mbabazi mbabazi za olga to sakiza yategereza kanda i think she was too good to leave abo kuba oh she is her generosity e kaveri ya mane na habwe kiningumye kirungi mukama na wakiye garura baitu ntumusima habwo kumutuha habwe myaka yege ya mazire munsi aje vale muno abya kozire byona abikozire nawo agarukire aya muhangire ya mtwara um tutwina mune kyo gamba kyonka mama mama we antumire kubasima habwo kwa we taroho mwasobora kwija kwemera mu bigere bye mwazi ko mwana we mwebale muno uno muno wera ta kusobora kurubata ni ngumyane bizibwe zaviremo kurolera mwana kurolera ngo bwenka na bibi bibi ali yo murungi taina kizibukiona so na abweki na family simire muno nywe na basoba ile kuicha mu bizibu bintu chokusobora kuvuga machoka yawe chokusaba kuvuga piki piki na abweki tubasimire muna basoba ile kuicha mukama abongereho uh, tusabirangane habo kuba runo rufu rukayizira kimu na amani na habweki mukama abahemigisa yo na yona um omwana waitu yosefu na maria bamkwata hamkono bamtwale amtavani wafu ami uh, thank you very much uh, aunt daisy uh, for those kind words uh, and now she will lay the wreath on behalf of uh, Olga's mother and she has represented Olga's mother uh, she, she, th she has thanked all, all the people who are here and all the people who have prayed for Olga's soul and uh, she mentioned that Olga was a generous person, very generous. So, Aunt Daisy, thank you very much for those kind words. And now we shall get a speech from Mr. John Magara. And after that, she will lay the wreath for the Magaras, uh, being accompanied by his wife. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'll, I'll thank all those that have been involved in uh, seeing that we have a send off uh, for Olga. Uh, most especially for the Kwezi, who has been uh, uh, trying to understand what role he had to play from the beginning, from the time I told him. Uh, by 10, I think it was 10, between 10 and 11, yesterday was still communicating with him and about the details that uh, were expected of us. Thank you very much, Atwoki. Uh, members of the family, thank you very much. Uh, my first role will be to thank the Minister of Justice that has enabled this function to, to be carried out in this manner. Of late, we've been hearing uh, places where uh, the burial happens even before you have the mass. And they do it in such a hurry that uh, they're overwhelmed by this activity. And, uh, but, you know, they be patient and I think all the people who are involved in, uh, in, in organizing this. Thank you very much. And um, members of the family and friends, thank you very much for seeing that uh, we come to this uh, point. Uh, it's not the usual way of doing it, but uh, I think it has come out uh, in a manner that uh, we're all appreciating. Um, there are messages that uh, 
friends of Olga would, uh, would wish to deliver on, uh, on the Zoom link. Uh, there is a mess there's a speech that I will also read from uh, Olga's older brother Michael who is in Abu Dhabi uh, so I'll give a chance for this to happen uh, I believe that uh, we are ready to deliver those uh, messages to the rest of the people in the other parts of the world Oh, please open up uh, those that would want to deliver these condolence messages. Sweetie Chupel. Aux input motor. Please speak, speak up, speak up where we are. That's right. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, we're hearing. Okay, uh, good morning everybody, thank you for joining. We will start with a speech from Ben, who is representing. We will start with a speech from Bella, who is representing Olga's friends. Okay, um, should I go ahead? Please go ahead. Okay. Um, good day, everyone. Um, the clergy, family members, friends, colleagues, Voga, thank you for honoring her and joining in this celebration of her life. I'm Isabella, Isabella Kesime, or just Bella, um, Olga's friend of more than 20 years and she was one person who, from the first day we met, it was love at first sight. Um, Olga was such a genuine and true person, and we shared so much over the years, from young girls when we met, fun, carefree campus girls, you know, growing into our individual selves and taking on our different career paths, up until the grown and grounded women that we are now. It has been a wonderful, wonderful and incredible ride with Olga. Olga was witty, Olga was charming, she was smart, she was loyal. Olga was loving, she was kind. She was extremely generous, endlessly generous. Generous to a fault, I could even say. She was resourceful, Olga was trustworthy. She was hilarious, she had a sense of humor and could always see the, the lighter side of whatever situation you found yourself in. Olga was caring. And all in all, she was just a beautiful person inside and out. I'm thankful that Olga chose us. I'm thankful that she loved us so wholeheartedly and salvation. We've had some amazing times together. We've had the good, the bad, the ups and the downs, the disagreements, the, the arguments, but ultimately our love became sisters by choice, and Olga looked out for us. Olga was supportive, Olga was always helpful. 
people, whatever you made it a point, to find somebody, to put you in touch with people who could help you. She had a wealth of friends and contacts across the board, in the right places from all over the world. And she drew you into her world. Olga would introduce you to her people. Olga would blow your trumpet. She would vouch for you. She pushed you and encouraged you to reach higher and to just be your best self. That's the kind of person that Olga was. In my own case, not only did she give me a big push when I was starting off my baking career, but just recently, recently, she gifted me with a brand new five liter cake mix. That is the kind of person that Olga was. She had voted for herself, you know, in a business venture that she was starting into, you know, before she decided to focus on her journey with Ace. Uh, but she called me. So she called me and told me, you know what, Bella, come pick up this pizza. I think it will help you. And I said, yeah, okay, I'll find time and come by. And then I kind of just, you know, got busy, this and that. But every time we spoke, she kept saying, but Bella, come and mix up. I told her, you know what, Olga, I don't just want to come and pick it when I'm in a rush, you know, going off to some place. Uh, you no, know, I want to come, spend time with you, see you, you tell me what's going on. Let's spend some time. And, you know, as luck would have it, a few weeks back, my schedule switched up a bit so I was able to go and see her and you know just spend some really good time with her and and thankfully I was able to do that you know we were so excited about seeing her take on this new role we looked forward to seeing Olga as a mom we kept telling her life is going to change you're not going to be your own boss we were just looking forward to so much babysitting Ace and spoiling him you know so I spoke to her on Saturday Saturday of 12 and she told me, you know, I'm actually packing right now. I'm packing for hospital. And I said, what? She said, yeah, I, I started coughing blood. And I was like, what? She said, no, but it's okay. I, I went and saw the doctor and he told me to check in this evening. So then I'll deliver the baby tomorrow. I said, okay. She was so calm. That's, that's Olga. She first body else except herself. So she said, call Sunny, by the way, you tell Sunny. I said, okay, I, you know, I'll do that. So we kept in touch. Sunday morning, so many phone calls to her, messages amongst ourselves. Hey, what time do you think she's going to be out? You know what the time, you know, eventually we get the news that the baby's here. We were ecstatic. We were excited. We spoke. She said, you know, she told us about how everything went and, and you know, how it was going. We, there was no cause for alarm, you know? And then the last few days, things changed. It was very uncharacteristic for Olga to not pick up the phone when you called or in case she missed your calls, she would make it a point to respond to your messages. She always did, you know, but this time it was keep checking in with each other. Have you heard from Olga? A message her, she's not calling and thinking she's not calling. What's going on? But we would it. And so she's okay. Everything's fine. And while I was at work, she told me, Bella, I'm steady. I'm steady. It's like, okay. Um, so I sent a message. Are you? I hope. getting plenty of fruits and you know, a day. You know, but, you know, I figured I could take her some delicious she could say, you know, I was looking Friday, no one from Olga. By evening I was worried, you know, what's going on? I, you know, kept checking her WhatsApp last scene, no activity, you know, nothing is taking place. Sent her no reply to the messages. Finally, I just sent her a scripture from Philippians, Philippians 4, 5 and 6 about do not be anxious about anything, but in all things, by prayer and thanksgiving, make your requests known to God, and the peace of God will keep your heart. So I sent her that. I said a prayer, and I just left it at that. Then Saturday morning came. Saturday morning, it was. It was a flurry of phone calls. It was a flurry of phone calls, despite our best efforts. It just wasn't good enough. Waka. We'll miss you every day, but we are thankful that you chose us, that you walked with this journey with us so deliberately, 
so intentionally, so wholesomely. We thank God for all that. Thank you, Auntie Topi, Olga's mom, Michael, Irene, Pam, Dora, our deepest, most heartfelt condolences to her cousins, her aunts, her uncles, the entire family, her friends, her colleagues, all across the world, everyone who knew and loved Olga. Oh, is us. Olga is gone. Olga didn't even give us a chance to, to bargain with her this time. So we painfully just have to accept this devastating doom that we have been dealt. We've lost an in, irreplaceable treasure. Olga was such a beautiful and bright light. Indeed, heaven has gained an angel. And thankfully, she didn't leave us, you know, just alone and heartbroken. She has left us the precious gift of ace. So thank you, Olga. We are going to shower Ace with our love. We will let Ace know what an amazing mother he had, what a beautiful, incredibly magical light his mother was. So shine on, Olga. One day, we know, we will see you again. But until then, sleep well, beautiful one. Sleep well. Thank you, Bella. They say friends are angels without wings, and indeed you are a true friend. And may God rest her soul in eternal peace. Our next speaker is our dear Auntie Mother, and she will be speaking on her own behalf and on behalf of our dear Auntie Topi um, to share her final words with Olga. I'm passing by a mukie. I've gone several by two. Medium choku. Naitra kuno chodio. Unaku ya mani. Baitu ntusima ruhanga. Habo eksembo ya Olga, Syria, Navachansi, Aboki. Nina vona nyo wantro mire. Ya gamba nsime budiomu. Oki kwa chaho. Nitubanza na oksima ruhanga. I have tried example to be messy by Olga. Example, if you see my family, to make friends to all of us. I have been seeing our Ministry of Justice. Muno Muno Alex, Head of Human Resource, Alias Ingrenaitwe throughout, ya making a sure ngoba contributing gire. Even to be on a Ebekuru Ksendekereza Olga. Alex Webale Muno. Nasima Naba members of the family. Ava vile ni mkwata ha mkono. Mubisi bubi nubiona evara vile mu no mwana we. Aikali ile. Haru vajurwe. Ha mkwa sile. Na manya. Ngwa kumuraga. Kedo kushiwa nubi. A kuongela kusima banyuanive. Banyuanive nabo. Bamuvelile ho muno. Ombisi bubiona mko kwa kiki. Mburani maga ambile. Kuruga orgo vya zairwe. Mkusoma kwe. 
mukora kwe ebintu bintu byona family ministry friends inywena mabaire mwemerire nawe Olga nko kuje nko kaka wagambire she was a wonderful 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 daughter Taine kiara mugamba ho akamuletera okusemererwa mu bisibu na mbusinge akaba mugenzi we like a sister ni babaza kimu ni badiska singa hamu ni bakora hamu yaba nko umsaho we ni wabire na manya atenye nko kwara ile atenye kikumsasa atenye tumutwale hamsaho ki ate bintu byona ebya atenye abire na akora olga ni wabire na byemera mu Nuwaba ile na manya doctor aramurora. Nuwaba ile na manya dentist aramurora. Nuwaba ile na manya karalia na katalie. Obaba ile na arubata. Nuwaba ile na manya ngwa itagena na airline yenu. Na agura tiketi. Na mtuwara hanyonyi. Na hulirizabu arubata hile na mbera genzile. Aligarukadi. Aligenda diha airport kumtabara. Hey, enda izara. Ruhanga. Nko kukuru wa gambire. Na wabaru ungini batu wara. Bulikiro. Hawa kaikuru waitu watu gambaga. Wera likiro mwana wumugaso. Hawa kuhu mwana wumugaso gungu kuhu. Nko kwa mgonza. Na ruhanga na we. Nko kwa mgonza. Olga. Okawa mwana ya ye kwa sise ruhanga. Kandi. Na itwe. Kwikiri za mruhanga. Tija kutukua tira. Nitusima. Olga. Biyo na rodide. Obwile wawo wabaile monsi. Nko kunyine nkuru wawa gambile ngu. You are generous che new no bounds. Hati mu generous chegi. Watulekera. Ace. Cloud. Bia wazaire atenye. Ama bara kaka nugona. Okai kala noga tekele so inenda. Kandi gaina evige kumanyisa. Claude. Nwe mnyanyoko. Bia wazaire. Nuwe anko wawe bishopu ayagensire. Atenye. Nye mpako ya mami. Baitu woja inyo. Evi gambo. Evi ya mama. Na huvi kaangira aho. Ya gamba. Aka kutairo mikono ya ruhang. Ya manya na mbele warugire. Nuhu garukire. Taboki. Ohu mwote. Nanyowe hati. Ninsi maru hanga. Habo kuba orga. Hata manyanka anti. Haka manyanka nina. O wakaviri. Evi nitu biyona biyona vina vya kora aga nina. Evi ya kora aga kakawe. Nibiyona nyo ya nkora aga. Nchua kubaga ambira. Olga nwe ya manyaga doktia na ambira ingenda. 
Olga nwe ya manyaga emisango e yinyina mkoti. Nagendaka kwe, kwe hindu ranti, Olga ikalire na nyo. Trole lide judge nko kwa kutue msangu. Olga nwe ya gamba kaka nkule expert. Arava yamba. No mnyoro na waku huliriza. Baitu, Olga, haka njweka, haka mpekisiko kio kwesiga, haka ndetera haka nyama kukulia. Kandi na ijana cheki inga kukundi. Hati, na nyowe, nkarora, Olga na agenda. Na mkwaso mkamu. Na simu mkamu. Kaho umule. Mwebale muna kumpulirisi. E Gatu oki. Mwebale muna. Mwebale bigambe vyo. Ntusasa muna. As family. Ntusasa na iwe. Ntusasa na iwe. Atuoki na tenyi. Uh, what I'm um, to do next is uh, to read a speech from uh, Olga's uh, older brother, Michael. And uh, it, it, it runs as follows. Uh, my name is Mike and I'm Olga's bigger brother. Olga was our second youngest in the family. The untimely passing of Olga has robbed us of all so much, so prematurely. Her love for the family was immense. Her mother and siblings were her all and best friends. She actively loved us, never sparing herself, always the first one to show up when we needed anything never complaining or procrastinating. She was truly our go-to person for everything. Let me ask Olga, or I will ask Olga, or Olga will know this to that or the other. The best person is Olga, where common phrases in our family. Her standards answer to us where, let me do it, I can do it. All her relatives were also so dear to her, constantly interacting with the young and old alike. Aunties, uncles, cousins, in-laws, she always had news of how everybody was doing. When I think of Olga as a child, I remember how much she loved adventure. So fearless, so curious, and so full of life. And with her around, our home was never dull, always running around, exploring the outdoors. All the neighbors knew her, many of whom became her friends for life. In later life, to illustrate Olga's fearless and sometimes impulsive nature, Olga traveled extensively. She was an interpret traveler, often alone and at the drop of a heart to destinations far and wide, simply sharing photos once she got there. More than a simple risk taker, Olga also had a very kind, generous soul. As I'm sure many of you can attest to, some of the other words that come to mind when we think of uh, Olga are uh, she was a fun to be with, witty, humble, energetic, resourceful, loyal person, personable, and steadfast. She was forever a friend and has many forever friends. She was constantly networking, so much so that to this day, we meet people who simply refer to us as Olga's brothers stroke sisters. Of particular note, over the years, Olga became our mother's keeper all the way from being fondly nicknamed Kalidaru, Olga beautifully blossomed into a shining pillar of responsibility and maturity. 
She was mom's best friend, confidant, advisor, helper, and support system. She managed all mom's affairs and was her champion, moving together and everything mom needed to be. Even from her own sick bed, when we asked Olga how she is feeling, she kept saying, I'm more concerned about mom. To say mom and Olga were inseparable is an understatement. What more can a mother ask for? Mom has truly lost a soul, a soulmate. We certainly couldn't ask for a better daughter. Sibling, aunt, niece, friend, in-law, colleague. She was always willingly volunteering front and center to organize numerous family events. Mom's 70th, my wedding, my 40th, and many more. We can never forget that she constantly did for all of us. She did so much that everything else had Olga's stamp on it. And she assumed this role without any question. Such was Olga's selfless, selflessness. Even when we bombarded her with calls and questions, she always responded with grace and kindness. She loved her little nieces as her own. Peggy, Stephanie, Maddie, all, thanks, all tasted of, love, of her love and for what we are internally grateful. She knew their characters and personalities even though she had never lived with them. Such was her heart and love for them. Our silver lining, out of this dreadful tragedy, is the birth of Olga's beautiful baby boy, A.C. Cloud Semakura, born on Sunday, 13th June 2021. A most beautiful God-given gift that is our Olga's uh, gift. Olga sold so many seeds of love that AC shall surely reap. We love him with all our might, and God love him more than we ever could. Uh, when we, we combine the fact of Olga was a compassionate soul and willing to take risks, it is not difficult to understand why she lived and the way she did and why we are so brokenhearted. It may co comfort us all a bit to realize that Olga is now reunited with the Lord and her beloved late dad, and that someday we will all be together again. This is only a brief parting of the larger scheme of life. Olga, aspiring to be a lawyer from a young age, we are thankful that she got to live that dream. As her colleague, Colleagues Harriet Etiang, Etiang and Lillian Andama mentioned earlier. She worked as a state attorney with the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs in the Directorate of Legislative Drafting Department, drafting laws and bills, as well as working on international law, humanitarian law, and nuclear law. Olga served the, the country and made us all proud. In closing, our heartfelt thanks to all our extended family, friends, our colleagues, and the Minister of Justice. There are too many to individually name here. We are grateful for our emotional, logistical, financial, spiritual, and all other support, particularly towards mom, especially given that we are not able to be there in person to attend to things. Even though our hearts are broken, we thank God for his continuing grace. Lastly, we beseech you all to continue to stay safe amidst this COVID-19 crisis. We cannot afford to lose another soul to this pandemic. Uh, Psalms uh, 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds their wounds. May the angels usher Olga's soul into the arms 
of our heavenly Father. Thank you and God bless you. That was the full speech uh, uh, from uh, Michael. Uh, most of uh, our siblings are abroad. Uh, they are those who are in California, Dora, Pam, and Irene. And, uh, well, we, we are as heartbroken as you all are who are so far away. Uh, I've just been informed that uh, Michael would, 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 would like to speak. He's on Zoom. Thank you, John, for that speech. Uh, Michael just be waving from Dubai to thank everybody for being here, for being in Kitoba, for those who are online to share his gratitude, and those who have sent contributions to say that he sends his absolute love, and thank you for loving Olga. I think, John, you have captured the speech very well. Um, you have captured the sentiments of the Samakula family, and uh, therefore Mike will not be speaking, but thank you everybody. Thank you so much for, for sharing your hearts with us as we say farewell to Olga. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nasali. Uh, this comes almost to the end, uh, but on behalf of the family, uh, about Olga, Olga was a committed member of the family. Uh, this is uh, sometimes they say an end of an era. We've had end of eras here from the time we lost our grandfather, from the time we lost uh, uh, his son, who was my father, from the time we lost Godfrey Kiamanua. Now we've lost uh, Olga. And uh, these were pillars, the, the pillars in, in this family. And uh, we've always had uh, felt this uh, gap, and uh, gaps that are never filled up. Yeah, but uh, members of the family, the younger generation that has really taken charge of this function, we thank you so much and keep doing so. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, John. Uh, that was Mr. John Magara. And now may I invite you to lay the wreath uh, accompanied by Aboli and the Doc, Un Uncle Doc, Aboki, uh, joining to lay the wreath on behalf of the Magara family. And uh, immediately, uh, may I invite uh, Arali Kusemirerwa and your wife laying the wreath on behalf of the brothers and sisters of Olga. And yeah. and now, uh, lastly, on the program of the wreath, may I invite uh, Reverend Father Kwezi, our parish priest, to come and lay the wreath on behalf of the friends and also the church. And since Olga was a friend of the church, I invite Reverend Father Kwezi to come and lay this wreath.
So we have got some more messages. People have sent in some messages, and uh, I'm going to request uh, Mr. Katumba from uh, Funeral Plus to read them for us. Thank you. Uh, these people presented their reads. Uh, we have a read. We are just going to recognize them because they are not here. So someone is there to represent. I don't know whether we, they will be repetitive or other people put the same reads, but these are the names that were forwarded to A+. Plus. Uh, Silas Mubanda Tenywa he had a wreath with this message I love you baby forever that was the message on it then we have a wreath from Lydia Nachintu with the message love you forever until we meet again we had a wreath from Dorothy Tenywa message was you have been a, a bright light on this planet and you are the biggest star shining in the skies then the fourth wreath was from tenure family message was let your soul be the bright light forever and ever the last one was from ministry of justice i don't know that she has been represented if not let it be pre represented by put by laying it on physically whoever can represent minister of justice please okay thank you Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sentongo, for presenting, Mr. Katumba, I beg your pardon, for presenting uh, the wreath on behalf of those people who are not present here with us, but they are with us in spirit. As we end, I would like to apologize to all persons who are here and also those who are not with us here physically, but they are with us in spirit. Uh, for not following the usual protocol. Uh, the protocol has missed which is because of the situation under which we have operated. So otherwise, we thank everybody who has participated and everyone who is praying for our sister Olga. And uh, we continue her soul. So now, uh, finally, we shall go to the um, rest place, final rest place rest ground um, we can join we can go to that place we when we enter we take our left we, we shall take our left uh, so um, please uh, thank you very much for being with us and for those who will be traveling wish you journey masses thank you Thank you so much, our dear commentator and the entire family, plus all the mourners gathered here. We thank the Lord who has enabled us to go through all this, and now we are at the final stage. Maybe I will request 10 people at a go, as we are going to rest the body of Olga at a prepared place. Let's go there a few people, then the others can follow after. We shall continue for us as a church, we shall continue 
to pray for the family and also to pray for the repose of her soul. Eternal rest grant unto her, O uh, oh Lord, and the perpetual light sign upon her. May they rest in peace, O oh Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O oh Lord, and the perpetual light sign upon them. May they rest in peace, O oh Lord. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord, the perpetual light sign upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. So this moment, the choir, I thank you so much for leading us in this uh, liturgy, and we shall request you to give us a song, or then to put a song, as we go and proceed. Unto thy hands, O mercy, most merciful Father, the soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground on earth.
Amen. 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 God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Aí muka mumbai tu mulek tahu aho, umur sesi sonik tarara, aw merom bersinge, amin ayo muka ma, mumbai tu mulek tahu aho, umur sesi sonik tarara, aw merom bersinge, amin ayo muka ma, mumbai tu mulek tahu aho, umur sesi sonik tarara, aw merom bersinge, amin lah. Ini ya makuire, ini makuire kiri saya untuk kiri bawa tu kum tu bersinge.
Thank you. 